Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and in betweeners. What we have for you this episode is a dramatic reading of what might just be the original opening scenes of episode one. This has been leaked from Reddit. And we have our friends Tom and Joe from Twacast to join Brother Dan and I in a dramatic reading of this uh, leaked, possible amazing leak. So everyone, please be warned. We're warning you right now. If you do not want to be spoiled by what could possibly be a legitimate <laughs> or... Maybe. Right. <laughs> yeah, oh, highly questionable the legitimacy of this, right, Brother Dan? Joe and Tom are narrators. Tom is also playing a character, uh, and Ryan and I are playing characters. This comes to us from Watt Scripthead. And without further ado, let's present to you the original scene, Ready. the original opening scene for the episode one of the Wheel of Time Amazon series. Tom, start us off. All right. Exterior, the White Tower, balcony, night. Close in on guitar Moroso, 70s. Beautiful, confident, powerful. Think Carmen Del Orifice. She stares out into the night. <laughs> A strong wind whipping white hairs loose from her bun. Oh, shit. I thought I was going to be up there the whole time. The thing <laughs> that's most noticeable about her, her, though, are her eyes. They're covered in a milky film, almost completely white. She's blood. Hmm. Tell me. Please! And as camera spot girls around her, uh, pulling back, we truly see the scene for the first time. Guitar is standing on a balcony nearly a thousand feet up, jutting out of the side of a majestic white tower in the midst of an island city in a river. It's breathtaking in the moonlight. Medieval Paris meets tattooing. <laughs> <laughs> our, fo- <laughs> our focus, though, is on Guitara and the woman at her side. <laughs> there's medieval Paris. There's Tatooine. Looks moraine. Moraine picture is forties. <laughs> Refined, practical, strong, but she's tense, almost unsure of herself. The sky's turning. The east is already black, but the west still has a glow of blue or, or, or yellow. Or, I don't know how to... I, I'm sorry. Swan's much better at this. I, I'm not good with words. You're doing fine, child. I can almost see it. Katara reaches out and sets her hand on Moraine's, squeezes it. Moraine looks down at it, notices the older woman's spotted, wrinkled skin, so thin it's like paper stretched over the tendons and bones of her hand. It's clear these women care for each other deeply, even if we don't know the relationship. And both of them wear a golden ring, a serpent eating its own tail. Moraine looks at the older woman for a moment. Katara has a smile on her face, like she's remembering what the sky looked like. Sadness creeps across Moraine's expression. Then curiosity. What do you see? A long beat. Then. No one's ever asked me that. Uh, I I didn't mean to. Uh, Just black. And at the edges, there's a light. Like it's trying to fight its way in. Or the dark's trying to push it out. Sometimes I wonder if the light goes completely. Then maybe I'll see more somehow. The same way we can't see the stars until there's darkness, even though there's always there. Moraine glances back out over the city, notices a half blanket of stars. They're only shining in the dark of the east. The lit up west is still starless. Some people, they think balance is an evenness between two things. That gray is the balance of white and black. But true balance is when each thing is strong, but contains its opposite. Like those pinpricks of light on a blanket of darkness. Like blindness, which only exists if you know sight. Even death can't exist without life. Every life starts with a seed of death inside of it. All right, now you're depressing me. Katara smiles, laughs. laughs. She passes her in hand. Moraine takes the old woman's hand with both of hers, squeezes. Have the fishermen all come in from the river? Moraine looks down at the river at the base of the tower, searching for boats, when... Crack! 
Gatara screams, <laughs> bracing herself against the balcony. The scream has primal horror and pain, like she's being torn in half. Flash. Katara's facing the woman. Is she's pregnant now? In labor, pushing with everything she has. <gasps> what? What's happening? What's wrong? Clouds float across Katara's. Uh, <laughs> she screams again. <laughs> right <laughs> Tearing them off, leaving bloody chunks on the way. What? What are you seeing? Another flash. Blood on the dirt. A mess of placenta and amniotic sac. And in it, a baby. <laughs> the woman who is and is not guitar lives with the baby. Looks at. No. No. What do you see? Tell me. Another flash. POV of the mother looking at her baby. We cannot see its gender. It squirms. But there is something about it that feels wrong. The dragon! The dragon is born again! Rain's face goes completely still, horrified. The world will be broken! I see it! Another flash! Blood! Still pouring out of the mother, covering the ground as her skin goes pale, and her hands go limp, then back with Gatara. Terrified. Tears slip down her face, there's blood in her mouth now, her voice barely a whisper. <sighs> Fight the baby, Moraine! <gasps> Then Katara's eyes go still. Her body goes limp. She's dead. No. And Katara's body tips backward off the balcony, her fingers slowly slipping out of Moraine's. Wide shot as she falls silently through the air. A thousand feet. We don't hear her as she smashes against the marble street. <sighs> off, Moraine shaken, stunned, looking out across the city. Tears in her eyes. And behind those tears, determination. Smash cut the title card. The wheel of time. Then Link fills the screen and the words appear. Chiron, 20 years later. 20 years later. A few bubbles pop at the surface of the white, revealing that it's actually some kind of viscous liquid. The woman's face emerges from the white, gasping for air. We see the young woman slowly stand up, her body and gauzy dress completely covered from head to toe in the white. This is Aguina Elvire. She appears to be about 20 years old. The same amount of time that's passed since the teaser. In this world, a woman must be all things. Standing around her in a circle are two dozen other women. They're, they're all shapes, sizes, colors, and ages. They all have their eyes on Aguin. Aguin's in the middle of, the, of a natural rock pool filled with the white liquid on the edge of two almost impossibly green-blue rivers cutting through an alpine valley. Not unlike the Valley of Verzaska. <laughs> we see the speaker now as she wades into the white pool with Aguin. This is Nanive, early to mid twenties, but bearing that jerk, di- but a bearing that dares you to challenge her. She has a lamb in her arms. First and foremost, she must be strong. The end. Uh, end scene. Well done, guys. I'm gonna. Give Thank you for watching our dramatic reading of the leaked opening scene of the first episode of Wheel of Time found on Reddit. What do you guys think? Part two of this collaboration involves a deep discussion of what we've learned with some hilarious banter. Link is right here. Remember, run for your lives because it is the way of the leaf.